in the uh, kind of early days of Quilter, the, you know, customers would try out the guitar amps and then they'd go, well, you know, I want to play through my old tube amp. It has a different sound to it. He'd figured out how to take a solid state device and make it behave like a tube amplifier. He really came up with a technology that combined all the efficiency and lightweight of class D. It runs on any voltage. It uses a global power supply. And so it actually works on anything from, I've actually run a tone block 200 on 27 volts AC. Oh, wow. Which you, you, you're on a generator at a festival <laughs> and you're dealing with 90 volts, 80 volts. You do that with a tube amp and it's as if someone grabbed all the knobs and just turned them all down because they need the voltage to be high enough just right for the tubes. We don't have that problem. He recreated that the, the high output uh, impedance that a, a speaker would normally see from a tube amplifier. If you're running on 80 volts, it sounds the same as if you're in Europe and running on 230. So no matter where you, you plug in and play, you get exactly the same tone that you did the night before, that you did the night before that. Yeah, that's um, pretty crazy. Yeah, and, and the advantage is, you know, I mean, again, a 200 watt, three pound amplifier. Uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so you can plug that in. That's pretty crazy. And, so and quite literally go anywhere in the world, plug in to any outlet, anywhere, and you'll get exactly the same tone. So that will go right into one of the cabinets. Yeah, right? so for example, the, yeah, the Travis toy, yeah, that actually plugs right into the back of this guy. So how does that, that just will slide physically? that guy in there? Yeah. Oh, I gotcha. So you can just have a change them. And boom. Okay. So if you wanted to use an overdrive 202 instead of a tone block or, or a That's 101 it. reverb uh, or whatever I else. Yeah. So they're kind of universal yeah. then. Yep. You can use that in the club days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can do cool things that you can't do with the tube amp. So I can plug two of these into a, a single switch box that plug into the same speaker. Use the output direct into the system. So I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in control at that point. And every time I plug in, I know exactly what I'm getting. What we're really accomplishing is, is getting to the point now where it's being able to plug in and get the tone, but do it reliably. We can do cool things that you can't do with the tube amp. So I can plug two of these into a, a single switch box that plug into the same speaker. Use the output direct into the system. So I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in control at that point. And every time I plug in, I know exactly what I'm getting. And the one thing I don't have out here, which is unfortunate, and I need to get them out here, is the super blocks. <laughs> Stuff. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the awesome. tour. Yeah, yeah thank you guys for coming. Appreciate thank it. You.